Shabbat Shalom. This morning, I'd like to share with you this poem called The Anatomy of Peace, formerly titled How to Live with My Body, by poet John Rodell. My brain and heart divorced a decade ago over who is to blame about how big of a mess I have become. Eventually, they couldn't be in the same room with each other. Now my head and heart share custody of me. I stay with my brain during the week, and my heart gets me on weekends. They never speak to one another. Instead, they give me the same note to pass to each other every week. And their notes they send to one another always say the same thing. This is all your fault. On Sundays, my heart complains about how my head has let me down in the past. And on Wednesdays, my head lists all the, all the times my heart has screwed things up for me in the future. They blame each other for the fate of my life. There's been a lot of yelling and crying. So lately, I've been spending a lot of time with my gut, who serves as my unofficial therapist. Most nights, I sneak out of the window in my rib cage and slide down my spine and collapse on my gut's plush leather couch that's always open for me. And I just sit sit, sit, until the sun comes up. Last evening, my gut asked me if I was having a hard time being caught between my heart and my head. I nodded. I said I didn't know if I could live with either of them anymore. My heart is always sad about something that happened yesterday, when my head is always worried about something that may happen tomorrow, I lamented. My gut squeezed my hand. I just can't live with my mistakes of the past or my anxiety about the future, I sighed. My gut smiled and said, In that case, you should go stay with your lungs for a while. I was confused. The look on my face gave it away. If you are exhausted about your heart's obsession with the fixed past and your mind's focus on the uncertain future... Your lungs are the perfect place for you. There is no yesterday in your lungs. There is no tomorrow there either. There is only now. There is only inhale. There is only exhale. There is only this moment. There is only breath. And in that breath, you can rest while your heart and head work out their relationship. This morning, while my brain was busy reading tea leaves and while my heart was staring at old photographs, I packed a little bag and walked to the door of my lungs. Before I could even knock, she opened the door with a smile, and as a gust of air embraced me, she said, What took so long?